Red Beard the Pink wears a little pink coat. He crosses pink moats on a little pink boat. He rides by pink oats on a little pink goat and strokes his big red beard. Greetings. Yo. What's going on? It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, we're doing the podcast today. Yeah, this isn't that other thing. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> but my name is Xavier. Hi. <laughs> hey it's your turn uh what's up it's brown pubes the blonde <laughs> yes. oh. that's, that's it. it's a simple very simple introduction today <laughs> straight to the point i'm not dragging it out Meat with potatoes this. eat potatoes <laughs> dude i used to have a plate like a potatoes the, no that you eat <laughs> just a regular plate good. you eat that off of fire but it had Hercules, the Disney Hercules on it. I had one of those. I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. That's good. Did you say that? <laughs> no, I don't remember what mine oh, had. Oh, then you sucked, dude. I think it had Meg on it, though. Meg Griffin? No, yeah, Meg Griffin from and Hercules. Hercules. Yeah. You're trying to appeal to my horniness, dude, sir. I, I, this is, uh, uh, we're already on a very big tangent, but I could see the fucking... <laughs> Wait, are you saying you're horny for Meg? No, I think he was trying to make me horny for Meg is what I'm saying. No, I'm picturing Meg Griffin and Hercules on like a backpack like in a Japanese store like when you see the Pikachu and like on, you know, like a mash sweater. (laughs) Xavier is scared of Pikachus. And as a child, there was a big Pikachu and I went to a bank where there was going to be a big Pikachu at a bank. Why, Why is that even, why was that a thing? But yeah, I cried. I was like five. No, you just got a promotion. Dude, Pokemon was everywhere. It was Pokemania, man. I know, but a bank? <laughs> they were all That's over so the mall, funny. bro. Half my favorite shit about going to the mall was seeing in the Pokemon. Mall. The Pikachu slug bug. You'd think like McDonald's. The mall makes <laughs> infinitely more sense than a bank. Dude, I, yeah. so, I used to have so many Pokemon McDonald's toys. <sighs> and Burger King also, I think, when 2000 came out. Yeah. I don't know. That's a good. I t- think I had both. Maybe it's a good tangent because our uh, topic, a fella named Redbeard the Pink, bum, bum, does bum. enjoy Pokemon. We'll see that in a few pictures. He's a Pokemon fan. Dude, I think me and Redbeard to get along because I'm hearing Pokemon. Not to give away too much, but wrestling, magician, I, magic. He's pretty. He's good at that. Ma- he's fairly good at magic. I know three whole tricks. We're gonna rate all his fits. Does he smoke crack? He vapes. He does Gandalf tricks with a vape, but no crack. Uh, I've never seen him. All right, crack. he's cool in my book. Can you uh, vape crack? Uh, that's kind of what you do with I'm it, right? Va- you're the crack expert, Ian. Well, I've never well, smoked you don't... crack. <laughs> so you're you are vaping the crack because it's in the little pipe, okay. and you just heat it up. You don't actually put the flame to the crack. <laughs> Gandalf was actually smoking uh. crack out of his pipe. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> spoiler alert. We're just this is it's a tangent cast. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're this is. That's what it's supposed to be, sort of. But yeah, we're usually we we jump right into jump right into. <laughs> we'll save it for crackheads too. Yeah, we got crackheads, dude. I have like forty gigs of crackhead videos. All right, uh, that's another day. Uh, okay, so we got Redbeard the Pink. <laughs> um, he's always wearing pink, like our uh, pal Ian here, rocking a whole pink outfit for. Uh, I put pink on. He is wearing pink. I'm wearing Say my a, name. David or uh, red blonde pu- blonde. You don't even the, know it. Get blonde, back to the podcast. Blonde cube, man. Get back to it. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing like a wizard shirt. So we're all trying to be slight. They got mad because well, some of he us, got mad because I wasn't wearing pink. Some of us tried. He's level headed. <laughs> it's just yeah. I mean, apparently I'm emotional right. and I act like an animal. And Xavier has lots of complaints about. All right, red beard the pink. Um, let's just. Should we, let's just throw up a pic of him, and then we'll read uh, just a little bit about him. I think it's good, because like, I've seen the one picture, basically. Yeah, just but that one pic. Yeah, I don't really know much. Yeah. Okay. A little <laughs> steampunk. That's our boy. Yeah, that's our boy. Every, oh. Almost all his He outfits. looks like someone, but I don't want to say their name on the podcast. <laughs> Can you say it? Is it okay to say it? I don't... No, 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 no. Where it Someone we want to get a pool table from. <laughs> Hopefully he's on the pod one day. That'd be fun. <laughs> I, Doesn't he? Kinda. He does. Yeah, he does. Kind. Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, <laughs> you guys don't know him. But yeah, this is a one day though. You might know him. Hopefully one day you know him. So you might know him. <laughs> All right. This red beard, the pink 
Makes sense. Here's a red beard, and he is, in fact, wearing a good amount of pink clothing. That's pink as hell, Yeah, dude. that's pretty pink. Not the artist pink. Um, Unfortunately. Thankfully. Yeah. What if they perform together one day? Good God. That would change everything. <laughs> I mean, that would be quite that the glow up. That would everything. Oh, geez. Okay. So let's read uh, just a bio of his. Um, this is on his Facebook page for this. Greetings. My name is Redbeard the Pink. I'm both a fictional pink wizard and a real life performance artistry persona. Uh, so he's a jack of all trades, a cosplayer, and the member of the Queen City Fire Circus. That's where they're, he's doing his uh, fire spinning. And he uh, goes around, and you can hire him, and he can do magic, different sorts of magic at his, uh, at whatever event you're looking for him to be at. <laughs> Bro, he fit four hyphens in one paragraph. What up Oh, here? five! Five, five, five! <laughs> he be hyphening. He hyphenates. He is hyphenating. So yeah, any other wizard lacking event, any pretty much anywhere, you know. Does <clears throat> your event have no wizards? You need Redbeard the Pink. Hit this dude up. Apparently, Xavier's going to tell us how to get in touch with him. So uh, yeah, I did like get rid of his phone number and email address in any of the things that he posted. But if you just search Redbeard the Pink, like he's on like LinkedIn with it all like there. So he very much wants events. But right now there are no events for him to do, unfortunately. So I hope. Well, if you want to book him for like a Zoom show, that'd be cool. <laughs> Maybe we'll book you for a Zoom show. Yeah. All right, where did it all start? Uh, shall I begin with the origins of the human or the origins of the character? Up to a point, they're mostly the same person. The human was once named Charles Andrew McFarlane, uh, which people have been shortening to Andy since his birth. It's very thorough. There's a certain flow to this. As a cheat, I'd have gone by Chuck, but whatever. Chuck. Close your cock. I would rather die. Then go by Chuck? Yeah. Chuck the wizard. <laughs> That'd be funny. Just, My dad's best friend is named Chuck. Chuck. I called him Mr. Chuck. You know how, like, um, there's, like, just, like, the... I stare. wish he was a nun. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> nun, nun Chuck. <laughs> they wouldn't call him that. They'd call him Sister Chuck. No. Oh, not in his case. <laughs> not in his case. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the, uh... Shit, was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, like, the, uh, stereotypical just, like clown performer for children's party but like a really bad one mm -hmm. just like that but like a wizard just uh, yeah i'm chuck See, i was picturing wizard. tk from workaholics yeah like a wizard t more of a wizard tk than a yeah. an aladdin tk yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah and he's just like yeah i'm chuck the wizard like it's just like <laughs> there's a not magical name at all he's got plain whatever he wore to like his day job that day but the only extra thing is a wizard's hat <laughs> yes <laughs> Alright, so yeah, at uh, the age of four, Andy the human continued with his own existence in the real world while I began the supernatural and fictional portion of mine. So this is some, uh, what's it called? Inception shit already. I like, it's confusing. <laughs> it was at that age I discovered I'm pyrokinetic. So was he fire spinning? Yeah, he's, he's a, a fire fire But was he doing it at four? That's Avatar is now on Netflix. It, it was by Netflix. Pay money to Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> it was at that age that he was doing it that I discovered. So I mean, four. Yeah, that'd be nuts if you got so good at like doing fire spitting shit at four that your parents are like, he's not like playing with fire. Like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's, they just like let him. He's pyrokinetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fairy lore by an old man that lived in a book. Shop I like when people spell fairy like that. Yeah, it's fun. It's different. Yeah, it's it's fun. Probably the real way they're, to spell it. They're they're different things, I think. Are they? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Dude, we should do a whole fairy podcast. We should talk about fairies. <laughs> we could probably get a couple of fairies on here, in a literal and figurative sense, to probably. I know uh, a couple of fairies. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot going on here. He's also a blood relative um, to an Irish werewolf and various fairy, fairy creatures. And he's a bit of a trollop, I see. I wonder if that means there's a, a uh, Dude, I furry. Think and, he's got a furry cousin, the Irish werewolf tribe. I think me and Redbeard <laughs> are going to get on good because I think I'm a bit of a trollop as well. He said he <laughs> dated someone who turned out to be a bit of a trollop. Sorry, oh. buddy. Oh, well, maybe you can date him. <laughs> well, I mean, and he did Wait, say... what's a puka? <laughs> Um, I don't know. That might be a wizard slur. Wait, look up Puka. <laughs> that might be a wizard slur. Keep safe search on. 
Hang on. I'm going to do it on my phone because I already have something pulled up that I don't want to spoil. I should have pulled up a new tab. Oh. I fucked up big time. It's okay. And this was my last week on the pod. I got Xavier re- forgets to pull up incognito. I'm training my replacement. Too. I don't want my bookmarks on Chrome. That's what it is. This is all my bookmarks are mm. there. Yeah, default incognito user. <laughs> puka. Lo- what? Puka lore? I just want to know what a puka is. What's a puka? Define puka. <laughs> well, it's a, okay, so it's vampire and puka. Okay, puka mythical creature. Oh, Jesus, dude. Yeah, it's probably a little oh, bit fuck, deeper. Oh, fuck, I do got to pull this up. This is crazy. Can't you just right-click and open a new tab that way? Probably, yeah. Aha! <laughs> Holy shit, not that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that looks like, like Luna with Fritz's face. It does. <laughs> It's like, like a weird, like, rabbit, wolf, werewolf night kind bunny of thing. werewolf. Yeah. Bro, hell yeah. I'm a puka who's a bit of a trollop. So maybe me it's and... It's got wings, and it's like a monkey, though. Me and Redbeard aren't friends. We should just be fucking, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's been five minutes. I can say the F word now, right? Uh, Yeah, it's been 11. We're doing... Good. Yeah! We're cruising right along. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a lot to I'm go so into. so good at podcasting. I've been leaving it up on the screen for a while, so you can kind of read it. Or like pause, but uh, to save my world, I shut myself and the creatures into an ancient underwater temple just before the high priest of Yogg Sothloth teleported the whole thing to a distant planet. So I didn't actually read this in depth. This is getting wild. This is getting fucking crazy. Drinking a potion that would blip me into the dreaming. See, this is Inception. <laughs> I only saw Inception once. I've never seen it. I just really. I just we should watch Inception, it. bro. It seems like yeah, not as bad as Donnie Since, Darko. But hey, close. everyone at home. Xavier has still not watched Willy Wonka with me. I've seen Willy Wonka. But we haven't watched it together. We could watch it you said, soon. <laughs> I'm going to go through and make a master cut of all the times you said we could watch Willy Wonka. It's, it's like four sixth, times. This, I was going to say six. I mean, <laughs> sugar it's not. Coat, it, he, he, <laughs> sugar coating? Pun intended? <laughs> Oh, dude, no. I'm fucking funny. <laughs> bro, we're so good at podcasting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, say something funny, dude. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. All right, the combo meter. Hashtag right now. <laughs> fuck Dave in Whoa. the comments. Xavier, get back to work. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I left this one up too. So it says the rest is in someone's game notes somewhere, as if all of this was actually through D&D. There's something along those lines. But no, it's just a crazy way to introduce yourself. This is definitely like... That's like the, where you go book. to book him, right? That's like his info, or is that his Facebook page? Yeah, this is the Facebook page, which like links right to, yeah. Okay. Like, this is what you, you're getting. And then he does have a website, which is unfortunately down right now. I haven't found anything about him saying anything about it being down. You can put that much information on Facebook? Yeah, dude, you're probably oh. like a 5,000 character. That's probably like... Dude, I've had Facebook for a long time. I, well, it's a page, not a uh, person. Oh uh, yeah, I was just yeah. remember I was like, "There's your name, birthday. I think you can put a nickname and a relationship status." Oh yeah, no, but and you throw it. It's complicated in there just to make them wonder. But no, you can write like, uh, yeah, like a bio, like about me now, but can be probably this long for a personal page. But yeah, this is like an actual, like yeah, like professional business business page. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Here's his LinkedIn. I am Redbeard the Pink, Wizard of Staunton. As a and it's just like that's a crazy this is just a crazy way to start out. Like fictional wizard is like the title. Like I'm sure it works because he has but he says he does shows or at least was before the great quarantine of twenty twenty, as he said in one of his TikToks. <laughs> but uh No, this shit's huge, dude. My mom, the one thing she wants is for quarantine to end. By her she, birthday, because she wants us all to go to medieval times together. She's never been. Medieval times. I've never been. Big. I'm I've never, stoked. Yeah, I've never been either. I would like to go there. Right. I, we parents, just got to end this curse. We got to do a dance and end coronavirus, so my mom will take us all to medieval times. Redbeard, if you're listening and there's any way we can collab to, to somehow create a spell to speed this up, that would be, we could, we could, that'd be really great. Yeah, maybe we do a spell, or maybe we beat the shit out of Martin Shkreli. <laughs> what, what? We do some wrestling moves, me and him. We do some tag team did stuff. He do, wait, did Martin Shkreli do anything to? Well, no, he's just a piece of shit pharma, bro. Okay, yeah, I was. I thought he may have had. I was like, what? And he's he just crossed the Wu Tang. He's just like, and I, I have anger. 
you, you, you're getting it today. Take my anger. Martin Shkreli like, is wait. an appropriate place to put my anger. No, Martin Shkreli is a, yeah, a piece I don't have shit. to say anything nice about Shkrell Shkrell. Yeah. Uh, I hate him. But yeah, I was, just, <laughs> I was just wondering if there was some sort of connection. But yeah, no, fuck Martin Shkreli, enemy of the Dude, show. Dude, there's connections in my brain, but... Synapses, like, electronics is going. Dude, no, it takes like three <laughs> seconds, and then I'm like seven steps and seven connections away. And I don't think it's like a higher functioning thing. I, I think it's a faster back. functioning and a lack <laughs> of attention. But, but yeah, no, Martin Scully, that works. You, I'll and, kill him. You and Redbeard, that would be crazy because you could pin him, and Redbeard could fucking fry him with his cat. Like, they're not. And then do we tag in the Rizza and he hits some shit off the top rope? <laughs> and then Redbeard is just like, "You're fired." This can all and be. This fucking Hato kitten fires the shit out of him. This can all be at the. It's been a while. Fast, yeah, yeah, yeah our carnival. It's been a while. Podcast carnival, Dark Souls. That's what we're gonna call it, dude. They just canceled another festival that's supposed to take place in the same state in the same days as Bonnaroo. It's not so, gonna happen. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get that fucking refund the too. Juggalos, didn't you say they said they won't? Wouldn't Juggalos risk won't risk one Juggalo life. That's crazy. And then policemen in my hometown won't enforce any laws, but. Hey! Hey! Uh, who, who the fuck is Redbeard? So yeah, he does events. Let's go over to uh, let's do his website real quick. I think that makes the most sense. So yeah, let's pull. The, oh my god, I didn't even have it over there. So I had to go to the Wayback Machine to get here, and I'm assuming this was a picture Hacker. of him in the yeah happy hacker status. With <laughs> here's the uh, I'm assuming this was his picture, and that's not even like pulled. So it's like literally just the text. From the website his little like funny words kicking busting. yeah so kicking at parlor style wandering wandering wizardry and busking ain't easy these are three styles you can rent for wherever you're going so depending on what you need um at your event he's got this uh you know a different format of that this is probably the only hypnotist you don't hate <laughs> wait what you I know I'm not a fan of hypnotists, Xavier. Does he? Oh yeah, should does I he get do into that? hypnotism? I don't, I don't think he does hypnotism. It I... said, "Go back." It said hypnotism. Where? At the very top of the page. Oh, top. Where Mad it does. Go up. Yeah. Go up. Go up. Go up. Magic oh, storytelling, oh, shit, okay, hypnotism. Okay. Yeah. See, I would honestly give it another chance with this fella. But right. should I tell the story of why I hate hypnotists? Is I'm that make worth, it quick. Is that worth while? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, senior year at post prom, I shouldn't have fucking went to that stupid ass shit. Except you can win so much like gift cards and cash and shit. I want a whole fishing pole at my after post prom, whatever. See, that's legit. But <laughs> one of the you... girls that I went with, sorry, won like a fucking Microsoft tablet. Yeah, we give away a not... lot of shit. See, that makes that's worth it. But like a fifty dollar thing to like Pizza Hut is like okay, but like my tux was one eighty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like if you do the math, you can make out, but that's the gamble of going to a fucking the only point of prom Western so privilege post prom. Yeah, that's why they make post prom so you can't Exactly. Yeah. So we're all at the post prom and they tell us you will be leaving the building to go back to the high school. At, I think they said like 2.30 at the latest. And the last thing of the night was supposed to be a hypnotist. At fucking 3.30, he's like setting up. And it was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You're like, exhausted. This... You've been up all day. You just dance been for fucking... Been dancing, yeah. bro. They had been grinding your dick off. Blow up bounce house shit with the yeah. big like foam Q-tips where you fight each other. Eating like Doing that. garbage fucking food and There was soda. a water park... It was like an indoor water park in Champagne, and it was just like, it was everyone was tired as fuck. <laughs> That's wild. Like, yeah. So then at four, remember we had laser tag, but we had electric That's laser cool. tag that shocked you if you got shot. Dude, I wanted that as a kid. My mom wouldn't buy it for me. She's like, "That's gonna stop your." But it wasn't. Heart. It wasn't high enough. They tarped everything off, so you had to be crouched the whole time, which meant you were covering your sensor. <laughs> oh. But yeah. you had to like stay down and like crouch around corners and like just to run and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so. 3.30, an hour after we're supposed to have, like, left, he's setting up. So then he starts setting up all the shit, and he pulls up, like, 20 people out of, like, the 200 that are there on stage. And I'm up there, and he is, like, all right, everybody, imagine you're, like, walking up the stairs. And I, like, kind of moved my feet. I was, like, walking up the stairs. I'm not going to lie. I picked him up 
about nine inches off the ground. I wasn't like just like it, like my feet were high enough for some stairs. It was like fairly high, but I wasn't doing it to be like a dick. I was just kind of doing it, and I just heard playing to the crowd, baby. Yeah. You're a showman. I know you. But I heard them start laughing, so I started smiling, and then he walked over to me, and I felt him like picking up like my shoulders and I was like, Oh, I'm about to be like the first like example of shit. And then he just like, I had my eyes shut as he was like, pick, like making me stand up. And then he just kept like pushing me until he was, I realized he was like pushing Booty me back you, towards you get the a laugh and he kicks you off stage. So then I go back to the homies and they see, obviously saw what happened and I'm pissed now. I'm furious, and they th they're like pissed too. They're like, "What the fuck?" Like this, but I mean, everybody's pissed. It's we're late. Yeah. So then he is like, "All right," like everyone kind of is like, "Let's fucking you know start being dicks because we want to go home." And he had a camera set up, and it was probably like 15 feet from us because we were in the very back right, and the camera was in the back middle. Mm -hmm. There is no way in a fuck that shit didn't pick it up dude of us just calling him a phony and just being like let's go home like this sucks <laughs> unusable footy yeah like completely ruined the tape like the first minute is the only usable part of it but the reason why everyone was getting progressively more pissed is he's like all right you're gonna wake up and think you're like a chicken and these like little prep like douche kids are like doing it and it's like okay there's no way that you're actually think you're a chicken and then he just keeps doing no texting and driving stuff it's so like he, intermission well no it's going to he's like all right when you wake up you're going to act like a chicken and you'll never text and drive wow and it, he and he plugged it i'm not joking like seven or eight times i'd say maybe like six and, Dude, but it was, I don't want to be petty on air, but remind me after we're off air, <laughs> and I need to tell you a really funny, um, uh, what? just like not texting and driving related. Okay, this tangent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to get back to Redbeard. But yeah, I usually who is this guy? I usually hate hypnotists, but I'm giving you a shot, Redbeard. You can try to hypnotize me as long as it's not about texting and driving. Um, okay, so we've read his bios a little bit. He's just. You know, a LARP character based on a real-world human that eventually gained the knowledge necessary to break through the fourth wall and has found himself a niche in the non-fictional realm as an entertainer and a craftsman. Let's go into these different types. Let's uh, let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Are we about to kick it parlor style? Let's see what kicking it oh, parlor style Oh, kick it parlor style. There's a comical blend of classic and original magic with a healthy dose of make-believe nonsense. So that hits all my boxes off the bat. Uh... Let's I see. don't know. I don't care for nonsense. Ian, nonsense? It's make-believe nonsense. Hold on. And hang on. It's, hey, a, it's a healthy hey, dose. Hey, I asked Ian. Make sure you know it's a healthy dose of nonsense. And it's make-believe. I probably love nonsense more than anyone you know. <laughs> you hate nonsense. <laughs> they used to call him Dr. Nonsense as long as it was a healthy dose of it. Yeah, bro, you don't so get a fucking PhD from. if you love nonsense. Yeah, you take um, healthy doses of it. It's small doses. It's everything in moderation. Bro, do you think Dr. Britt Baker, PhD? He ain't Dr. Nonsense. That's uh, a lady. Nonsense. That's a woman. Healthy dose of nonsense kind of sounds number like... one contender I in guess the I'm EW women's division I right guess now. I'm canceled. I just inadvertently said Scripted. women can't be doctors. <laughs> yeah. You just misgendered a pro wrestler and a doctor. How do you feel, you idiot? Can't, you can't do... Talk about Redbeard, idiot. You can't do either of those 100%. If Scripted you're a doctor wrestling sounds like a healthy oh dose of God, nonsense. Dude, are gonna have a Britt Baker conversation off camera. Okay, so parlor style, sixty-five minutes in its entirety. He can uh, present it in a couple different segments. Uh, can be shown indoor, outdoor galleries. So this is like a big show, uh, designed to be watched from kids age seven to one thousand and seven. Nice. So that's kind of ageist, I guess. If you're a wizard, do you think that that you become like an evil wizard past like it's like the kids next door? That's like a true. Well, like, I don't want to give too much away because I still want to do a Kids Next Door podcast. The producers are fighting me on this one. You know? I didn't fight you on that. On a Kids Next Door one? What? <laughs> that would be cool. The producers want me to do my own work to make that episode happen. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but the Kids Next Door do have operatives who stay on past the 13 age, but it's that's mostly true. Yeah. secret. Um, but again, I don't want to get into that. Yeah. But I wonder if that's just something like, do you become an evil wizard? Or is it just kind of like you're too, your magic I mean, sucks? It's not good anymore. It's not designed to be watched by someone older than that because he doesn't think they would. If you're 1008, bro, you've seen it all. 
I guess there's not that many. It's, not, it's just not designed for them, but if you enjoy it, you're welcome. Yeah, I guess there's just not that many wizards around today, so he probably hasn't met too many over, you know, a K. That's probably the oldest wizard he's met. I wonder how old he is. It's interesting, though, that most card games and stuff, or, like, games for children, they'll just say, like, ages three and up, ages seven and up. Um, so there is a fun. cap. So there is a cap is what we're seeing. Yes, that's a real... Because just because he's in into magic, I'm not writing out it's the math. <laughs> magic and math go hand in hand. Yeah, so handful and as many they as... They go dick and foreskin. They dock. <laughs> 100 without technical requirements. Um, so he says if you got the screens and shit, he could be playing, you know, like the Super Bowl. Any yeah, size. Willing. He's ready. Fucking beast. Uh, so if it's too crowded, too busy for parlor style, we need to check out these other ones. So let's check out these other ones. You want to jump over? Or you want to do them in order? Buskin. Do buskin? Can we do it in machete order? So is it buskin then? Well, it would be. <laughs> Did we already fuck up? Let's just do. Let's well, it would be. <laughs> Hold on. It doesn't matter. No, Hold on. on. Let me do the doesn't. magic math. It's. It's too late. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in uh, wandering wizardry, he's scrolling. It's two, four, three, five, six. It's one, no one we got one, that. two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Close enough to machete order. <laughs> so, uh, if you want him walk strolling close up, this is the perfect one for you. This is wandering root wizardry. Little as one to five hours. You know, he can go between 50 and as great as 1,000. Spends five to ten with each group. You know, so the longer the crowd, the longer it takes to wander. But, yeah, if you're having a big-ass event, he just comes up. Checks it out, does some shit, blows your mind, walks away, peace out. I gotta wander. <laughs> I gotta go. I love it. Yeah, you could be having like a huge, like whatever, different tables. Yeah, and he just, just rolls up. Just chilling. All right, let's hop into this other one because I want to get into his fits. Because we need to rate these fits. What's this one? Buskin ain't easy. It's gonna. All right, slingshots oh, this. Buskin station. makes me feel good. <laughs> Buskin makes me feel good. Uh, favorite thing to do is spin poi. Is that like the... That's like probably not on fire stuff, maybe? Or maybe it is on fire stuff. Oh, fire poi. Yeah, here we go. Well, I was thinking... I was trying to relate that from J-O-I, but I don't think that's going to work. Oh, he can leave the magic in his pockets and just come spin fire. I didn't get it either. You're the only one that's horny enough, I think. What? what? Jerk off instruction? I'll dissect that Fine. jack off joke right Somebody now. else on this fucking podcast watches porn. I will j j break down your jerk off joke, bro. <laughs> Thank you, dude. All right. For you porn heads watching at home, if you want to get more of my porn related content, yeah, just subscribe to my porn page, my OnlyFans, or uh, just text me. Do you think we could get sponsored by Pornhub? Well, Pornhub is not the wokest industry. Woke his website in the whole wide world. Well, I guess yeah, it does have like there, there's some the community lets bad things on because of that aspect. Okay, one that's not. Well, we'll just, just research. We'll get a good X video. Brazzers, bro. I would take a Brazzers That'd sponsorship. That'd be a big deal. That Brazzers. <laughs> Brazzers. <laughs> if you are watching at home, <laughs> this episode and... is unofficially sponsored by Brazzers. <laughs> All right, so we need <laughs> skin ain't easy, dude. There's a whole. Trend though, people wearing Pornhub hats. I think we should just get some Brazzers hats. Yeah, get some competition going. Mm -hmm. That would be the way to get their attention. Be like, we're representing you now. Give us, you know, money and free subscriptions. Brazzers is the shit, dude. I, I would love to do a Brazzers ad read. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have to be careful at all. You can say no. what the fuck you want to say with that. Have you seen Pornhub's Twitter accounts? They're terrible. They're terrifying. Yeah, I'm sure any porn account would like, you kind of say whatever you fucking want to say, like. Like, oh, that was inappropriate. Like, yeah, no shit. It's a dildo. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this is um a little different, it looks like. it's mo It looks like more like he could... This is more for, like, the big deal stuff. Spinning LED lights at night. Spinning fire poi. All ages. Were you guys there at the one fire spinning at the in Urbana? That shit was fucking cool. Yeah, dude. I got Snapchat videos of it and everything. Because that's what you that do if you're cool. cool and you go to an event is you record it and put it on Snapchat so people... No, that you're yeah. cool and going to events. If you weren't even put in your Snapchat, were you even there? It's yeah, like do you even skate, bro? Can't even skate, dude. All right, should we do fits? 
Should we get into his fits? Fits. Let's check out these fits. <laughs> so this is a, a common one. I try to do different Fritz is ones. asleep. I was going to say we could get Fritz's opinion on the fits. Fits on the Fritz. What yeah. should we rate Fritz these? Fritz. What's our scale? Five, Five stars? stars? <laughs> oh! <laughs> dude! <laughs> we should kiss later. So what is the... <laughs> what, are, what are we judging on, though? Like... Like just outfits all... that match his persona, outfits based on the normal societal view. I'm picturing myself. It's like runway. You're at a runway, and you're we're the three judges for some fucking but is it, reason. But we're judging like a runway contest that only wizards are participating in. No, see my. It's avant. I'm picturing it as we're at one of Kanye's fashion shows. We're at Yeezy season sixty nine, and it's like super avant garde to where everybody's wearing, like. You know, like avant garde, like crazy ass. Damn, that boy can pronounce. Yeah, I'm, f I'm like French. I think that's what that <laughs> is. Oh no, it's Russian. <laughs> like just wild. I've never even met a Russian. I don't think they're real. Like they're walking around looking wild with crazy ass outfits like this. Just shit you could never like really wear. But like he's able to like get around in these, obviously. He's busking, he's bro. He's traveling and wandering, <laughs> so he's definitely. <laughs> But like, all right. So what's that? What are we? Let's do five out of five stars. <laughs> Two and a half. Two and a half out of five. <laughs> I was gonna go with like a three. Yeah, I give it a three. The like the plumage on top is really a little much, but <laughs> it was a tall fit. That's where it lost me, bro. He's literally <laughs> wearing a hat on a hat. Like that's. Oh yeah, he he's got a hat on a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Does like... he have jeans on under? It, it appears. Potential. That might be jeans, but like that's protection. Right. So he's going that elaborate, and you're still gonna half-ass the bottoms. But dude. maybe he's got to get home. He's got to wander. I said I was gonna be nice on this episode, and I still like that beard. <laughs> so let's. I don't want to be too. But negative. the whole thing, his hair, the beard, it's a whole package. Two and a half. Let's stars. take it all in. Okay. Two and a half. All three, right. Yeah. I give it three. Yeah. So this is a, a nice pajama look. See, this is why you guys aren't going to be in Scoob, because I'm the Simon Cowell of the gang. <laughs> Scoob. This... You won't be in Shrek 2 after sequences either. We can't be in movies that are already out. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, dude. So we'd like do a voiceover of them. Ashley Tisdale got to be in Little Mermaid after it came out, because they redid the song. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Disney does too much shit yeah, over. Yeah, don't talk to me like I'm an idiot. Like, I don't know things about <laughs> Ashley Tisdale. Yeah. Oh! What the hell? What the fuck? Where did these drinks come oh. from? Sorry, I said, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, man. This must be some sort of potion or something. Yeah, I don't know what kind of concoctions. Yeah, these just appeared. Redbeard must have uh, spawned them into our hands. Yeah, he must be a really good he, bartender. He must be listening. It might... De Am I dehydrated, Redbeard? Like, I mean, this wasn't necessary. <laughs> Redbeard <laughs> said Ian's had enough. But yeah, I hope these are okay. I hope these are healing potions or like, love potions, intelligence potions, and that. Uh, Hopefully, not a horny potion for dead. very deadly poison. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I if Redbeard <laughs> thinks I need to be hornier, who are we to doubt him? All right, so what are we giving? <laughs> I don't like this outfit at all. I'd Is say it's a one? two because it it's. One and a it's half. not bad, but it's definitely lower quality. He's than, at like, like a convention. Well, okay, so let's. He looks way younger too. Though. Let's rate these mostly off what he should wear to the It's Been a While Festival. <laughs> Does that make it? Because I wouldn't want him to wear this to the It's Been no, a While Fest either. So. I would be disappointed. So let's. I I think the other one's still a three, and I think that's what. Okay, like a well, I give him one and a half in yeah. terms of yeah, like just. I see. Too. Yeah, but this I don't think he's at a. Uh, I think he's at almost like a uh, Comic Con type thing here. It looks like. Ooh, I like this. So that's real casual. And if you notice, see, I was thinking more of like a Desperado look. It's a yeah, casual Desperado. But yeah, the hat, not trying to the show off. The over it. The hat makes it fall short for me. It should be pink. Or a cowboy hat. I just a pink cowboy hat. I'm not a fan Ooh. of the. <laughs> a pink cowboy hat trilby. almost might be too gay. <laughs> the this is the Fidilby. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, so he repurposes stuff, I just noticed. So look around the waist, and then around the top. So a cool thing about these outfits are a lot of them are building off of each other, and they kind of swap around. He he combines He's only it. got so much pink. Yeah. Okay, so that's another one. That's the same place. So he's fucking... That's like an S. Plaid. Yeah. We got like a pink I, and yellow plaid. Dude, I, I'd be impressed if he did like the middle school S. 
<laughs> that would be fucking <laughs> crazy. Oh. It looks like somebody has fainted back here. I'm sure it's people getting in like a bag, but it looks look. Yeah, it looks, it looks like, like they're attending the yeah. things <laughs> down. He hit him with the fire. No, I couldn't find. He hit him with the. <laughs> so I have no record of of. Uh, Sorry, Red Beard Beard. listeners, you didn't get my joke. <laughs> his 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 like magic aura just knocked that bitch out. She just couldn't. She got too close. Yeah, to it wasn't her. the fire. It was the energy off of that. But yeah, uh, I give this one on a three, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. It's it, fun. It would catch your attention. Part of the outfit. So I, he would be. I guess he's doing this at the. It's been a while fest. Because that looks like the bad. <laughs> Can you pull up the Maryland Terrapins alt, alternate uniform? Because that's what it reminds me of. Maryland. Maryland, like the state. Oh my god, dude. This potion. Nope. It's close. He's potion, <laughs> dude. Uh, Terrapins. T E R R. Alternate, you said. Yeah, they're alternate jerseys. It's from a couple of years ago, but they're bad, bro. What? They yeah, that one. Uh, what left, head? left, left with the mouse. And oh, yeah. oh, oh, I see, I see. Oh, yeah, that looks weird. <laughs> it looks like Alice in Wonderland almost. Yeah, it's not very football. It's just, yeah, it's just strange. But yeah, no, that does look like that. Yeah, but yeah, I'd give that. Uh, I'm pretty sure Shane uh, has been on the pod had a just a yellow flannel like that. It was like that I remember. Exact flannel. Yeah. I literally yeah, I remember a that flannel like that. That's, oh, that's what, another one from. Because I have that purple and yellow Young Bucks <laughs> shirt that I don't get to wear enough, and I can't wear it with my flannel, which is a great way to wear a wrestling shirt. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have a matching <laughs> flannel. I don't have a purple one. I don't have a yellow one. I'm in trouble. So this isn't very pink. That's not pink if, at all. But there's Pokemon stuff. You can see if like, the pants purple. match, like if they're the same shade, it would be that would be fly as fuck. Are these little framed pictures of mushrooms? Because that's pretty baller. <laughs> that looks like one of those purple Honestly, flowers wish I you had can these eat. Top two. <laughs> <laughs> Just to fill in like a little dead space like Dude, that. He's thing. silo vibing. So that's full wizard looking. <laughs> That would catch Do you think he, I would that would catch attention. Give that a four. This That's is four. um the second knitted hat. Do you think he knits these himself? He might knit these himself. I couldn't find any proof of that, but he's got quite a amount of knitted shit. He could uh I mean he his mom might be knitting it or something. That'd be sick. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good amount of knitting. He could uh it's probably good to be able to DIY that. If you're a wizard, you're out in the woods, you're cold, you kill a sheep or just shear it. You start knitting it. Dude, so, what if that was just white? Action shot of that other Wait, pick. what if he knitted that and it was white, and then he went through a process to change the color? Everything. He and would you call that and DIY and dyed? DIY and dyed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, what if everything he touches turns pink? It's like the Midas gold touch, but it's just with pink stuff. It's the red beard, oh. the pink touch. That would be crazy. Pink Midas. He's got to cast like a spell to keep no, it back. That pun didn't hit with What's Pink Midas? Is that another sex thing like you're talking about? Is that another porn category? I don't even know. What type of sites are you on? All right. So that's another Dude, shot. you borrowed my password. That's another. No, we're not sponsored by Brazzers <laughs> yet. <laughs> we're going to all have our own. episode when I'm decked out in Brazzers gear, dude. I'm going to look like <laughs> a NASCAR car, but just Brazzers logo. We're all going to have our own account. Private accounts that they'll give us for free when we get sponsored. That'll be part of the deal. Dude, <laughs> as unwoke as Pornhub is, though, have you guys seen the numbers they're putting on like amateur videos now? What you can make? No. Probably oh, you true. can make some money putting stuff on Pornhub right now. Yeah, it's probably. Like I hope Brazzers or someone else is something similar soon. Yeah, no. I one. can't imagine you can do it without being exploited. But god damn, that would be sick. <laughs> yeah, it's a bizarre, brave world. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's just the other one, another action shot of that one. So well, I don't like it as much as the last one. No, this is. Uh, but yeah, it's probably my second wizard. favorite. It's this... got the lol face. No, oh, that takes it down to a three. I was going to give it a three and a half. Is this a comedy convention, though? Well, no, he said one has more comedy in it, one of the acts. Maybe that's the comedy. Here, we'll leave it up to the cat. You, th you think he's going to talk? Oh, don't put his butt by the mic. He's just going to sniff. He's going to push. Dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, two and a half. It's just almost too casual for he the... He says, don't cancel Dave. He's not a Linity. I was, <laughs> I was working on some, some play some on Some Linity it, but... joke. Yeah. 
It's too late. Dave casts Alinity. That kind of works. All right. <laughs> yeah, I like. See, he's I, dumb. That cat doesn't even know where he is. He thought I threw the ball that way. But yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work for the festival that we're gonna have. I like it, but yeah, it's like it's it. It seems like this is his grocery getter outfit. Yeah, because he's wearing it's these laundry day. He's wearing these. Oh yeah, this is just thrown together. Oh, so it's not uh, yellow. It's more green. Dude, look at his samurai feet. Oh whoa, that must help in the fire spin. Are those hooves? No, it's like the samurai feet. I think it's like two and three toes. I'm not familiar with these yeah, samurai feet. Yeah, you split feet. it like two and three. It's weird, but it's supposed to... All samurai's feet look like that. Is it for kicking power? Or like not breaking your toes? It's probably for, yeah, something with running and jumping it's and got shit. A... Let's look. I'm always search samurai yeah, feet. Yeah, search samurai shoes, bro. Hopefully, uh... But yeah, I... Bro, I'm so sorry, Redbeard, that we're kind of fucking up your episode. <laughs> um, it's just going longer than I thought, which is good. Uh, that's not what we need. But your fans, if they check this out, are going to be so educated. Yeah, look, here we go. I, I see where they are. I want to know why. Japanese Jika Tabby Boots. There we go. I needed that name. Bro, I learned to stop doubting expertise on fashion when <laughs> Ian lectured me on eye patches. So now I just want to know what these are up to. I trust you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But I should know about this. Me and Ian used to sell shoes professionally. I... Well, you already sell one of these the fucking samurais. Well, no, oh, but whoa, we have, like the vibe from like the five finger, the toe ones. It's in normal shoes, so it's got to be. This is a thing. For, maybe it's like, like a pressure, that's a modern samurai. pressure plate. That's thing, for though, samurai jack. You know. Yeah. The wearing experience is similar to being barefoot. Sorry, Fuck that was that. that made me look stupid. I understand that samurai jack is not in modern times. Yeah, he's in the future. I'm aware. Yeah. I'm not it's an idiot. In the future. <laughs> Made in the Philippines or China, but they're Japanese. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it looks like it just helps you run, or maybe a tabby that contact the ground. Outdoor footwear. Oh, just in Japan. It's not. Why is his name Doofer on Facebook? That's not. Uh, dude, quit. Do, don't spoil it. No, Doofer is. Uh, we'll, we'll see Doofer really soon. Oh. <laughs> Dave's canceled. So, yeah, for split. Doofer. No, that's fine. All right, yeah, so. That must help the fire spinning. That ups it. You can't see that in the other picks. That brings the score up because that's interesting. I don't like it. That's tactical and cultural. Hey. Bro, we're not rating his battle readiness. We're rating his fashion. No, I'm rating how it's going to look. It definitely, it definitely makes it better. People are going to ask no. about those when he's walking around the festival. <clears throat> I'm giving it an Orange Cassidy kind of thumbs down. <laughs> All right. So there's a more professional one of the... See, if that's a comedy thing, that's kind of funny to have the little, little like, mm. D face. If it's a comedy, if it's ironic. Production value's better, All right, we're but I don't think it scales appropriately in funniness. Cat! Cat shoot the cord and they'll shoot hang out up here. <laughs> yeah. Only my cords and go, cool go, Dance go. Dance Revolution arcade-level mat cords. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we got this. This one's a uh, new one. Dude, I like the Mighty Ducks flying V in the background. She's so bad. God that looks it. like Terry Hall up front. But yeah, this is a real high quality one. This is from the Sci-Fi Photo guys that helped out with this, apparently. But yeah, I don't. I'm gonna give this a three and a half. That's interesting. I would say yeah, three and a half. His hat reminds me of the hats people wear. It's like the Ray Guy style ones, and they have like the fake black dreads coming off them. So that's the other thing that's holding me back. I don't. Yeah, the hat is a little much <clears throat> for me. I think that well, it's just and the stuff coming off the hat is what I think it is. I think it was just the hat and didn't have the things coming down. I'd like it a little bit better. I mean, the cut. I don't know. It's three and a half. All right, we need to start going through these faster. Fuck this one. Don't like that That's outfit. That's the one again, yeah. Don't like that outfit. But he's got a little puppet wearing the same stuff, kind of. Yeah. They're kind of like his elf ears in that one. Yeah, they both got Doesn't anything bad about him. Don't like the outfit. The don't like the great. outfit. I fuck with yeah. that one. You don't like that whole one? Don't so, like that outfit. So this is our friend <laughs> Doofer. We'll get we'll get into Doofer in a little bit. Oops. Oh, Doofer shit, looks I'm like knockoff. Off. I mean. Oh, Doofer's the puppet? Yeah, Doofer's the puppet. Oh. Yeah. 
I thought I was just like that dude looks just like <laughs> Red Beard the Pig, bro. I was like, that's fucking dumb as hell. Now that would be some controversy. The episode if I found this dude like impersonating Red Beard the Pig named Doofer. <laughs> he literally just insane. goes by Doofer. Doofer the Dooper. Like, He's just walking around. Fucking... I threaten to fight Doofer. If Doofer the man is impersonating him ever, then yes. <laughs> uh, can I fight a theoretical Doofer who tries to steal his swag? Yeah, any doofer. Sorry, it's not tries to jock dude. his swag. Dude, if anybody's named Doofer besides this little blue fella, what about Doofer yeah. Grace? Doofer Grace? Yeah, oh, our yeah, favorite actor. Seventy show. Our favorite KKK leader. He did, yeah, at one point, kind of lead the KKK, <laughs> in a way. All right, dude, these cats are all gonna get kicked out. They're all on bullshit. <laughs> Look at her. Your baby's fucking gone, dude. He's like, I'm not bad. I'm leaving. All right. So, yeah, this is another one with Doofer. And he oh. makes up the hair. Damn. Yeah, and that. And the little stash a little different. I always want to try that curly stash, but it's just never going to work. This is like, yeah, like a prospector, I'd say. This is, uh, oh, I guess this one. See, I wish he was wearing a little bit more, but he's going straight Doofer. He's not quite the same, it looks like. Yeah, I think his he's supposed to be less. Yeah, Doofer. Not system. to take all the attention away from Doofer. That's a good way to put it, yeah. I'll give this one a 4 2. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's three, three and a half. Doofer adds a lot. Three. See, yeah, this guy, this. He that should just be looked. his fucking tender profile picture. See, I do like that jacket, though. That jacket, you could wear that out to, like, a wrestling ring. Yeah. This one's magical. Uh, I'm distracted. I can't get it. Zoom in on right his now. eyeballs. Asterisk. What is Asterisk. Oh Aster God. Asterisk. I think this is just. Asterisk. A look. What? Asterisk. What's your asterisk? Every a I'm just figuring out how to pronounce it. Oh. <laughs> asterisk, pronounce, asterisk for the pronunciation. You know, like. Yeah, a it's asterisk. You say it. Okay. No. <laughs> say it. I won't. <laughs> Here's the jacket. Asterisk. Here's the full jacket. S. S. <laughs> you still fuck S. with that jacket? Because that's more important than how uh, you pronounce cool. that. You've said it right. <laughs> What's the jacket? What is this? What are we rating it? This is nonsense. This I point. don't know, bro. He looks right. like the he sells mids it. to fucking sophomores. The hat ruins it. Yeah. Right. Oh, we're almost done. I don't... So this is he's traveling across, like, the desert. That, I kind of fuck with. Like, it's just... Is that the top one? Or is it the classic wizard? Dude, that's... Show me the classic. No. I'm giving it a four. I'm calling it a tie. You're calling it a tie? I like this so one. So you can wear either one of these to the festival. The best. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Yeah, either one of these work. <laughs> I really sick. like that pink sun hat, bro. Ian was looking at sun hats earlier. I think if that pink one was there, he'd have copped. Yeah. Am I wrong? Ian, I swear to God, if I ask you to say something one more time, you don't do it. So, <laughs> I didn't look into who painted this. I don't know if it was him, but I think a fan possibly painted this. Did they just post it? No, I think he has this now. That's Xavier sick. posed a question. It's all fine. Is this a magical stone? <laughs> He's got here. All right, we need to go on. Let's go to Doofer. Doofer! Talk about these fits too long. He doesn't have any five stars? That sucks. Dude, they're going to kiss in that picture. Yeah. Why would you do this? So I guess Doofer did this. I can't <laughs> believe he's done that. So here's Redbird the Pink saying, Currently attempting to use my wizard uh, magic to temporarily blot out the sun. Please stand by. Uh, he said he's working on having enough magic. But then Doofer, you know, it does. they haven't posted in a while, but Doofer doesn't like this. Look, this crazy asshole's at it again. <laughs> <laughs> the related pages are throwing me, too. Because I see Redbeard the Pink, I'm like, that makes sense. But right above it... What is that? Christine. I don't know, I'm just... Oh. That's all I have to say is, oh, oh. What, uh... Is it a it's game? A money My made. dreams it's were a crushed game. earlier when All right, we, <laughs> Peyton Manning beat Tom Brady at golf. We can't talk about that. I'm this not already running so long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll yeah. get you next episode, Pat McAfee. Big news, internet. This week I'm going to Mysticon 2016. Then Doofer says, I'm sure my slaver is going to drag me to this bullshit. So Doofer calls Redbeard his slaver. Uh, no monster. That's not a good look. I Yeah, I mean, I guess... Doofer's not happy. He might not be making enough money off of this. <laughs> it doesn't sound like he's making any money. I really need to be back with my own kind. Some of the shit you humans say. <laughs> what is, is Doofer's funny. race? 
Is he whatever? Is he the same thing as Gonzo? Because he doesn't have the beat. I was going to say, he might be something. He's from Sesame Street. What if he Street. is just a doofer? He's Sesamean from Sesame Street. <laughs> or where are the Muppets from? We are Sesame, if Kokomo? you please. Yeah, the Muppets are from Kokomo. So he's Kokomo yeah. and yeah. <laughs> well, the pigs are from space. Are they actually from Kokomo? They just no. went. I thought they just went to Kokomo. Yeah. Dude, All I right. <laughs> I swear to God, if you let me have a Muppet lore episode, I'll go three hours. You can have a Muppet lore episode, a K and D episode, a wrestling one. I just can't write them there. Your idea. Bro, give me some softwares on my computer so I can do. Things. We can. Yeah, we can get it. Yeah, uh, as soon as we watch Willy Wonka. That's the least important. That's a priority number <laughs> one. But yeah, Doofer hasn't posted that much. Uh, but yeah, this is Doofer. So he's got Ventriloquist in there. I don't think he said that on his website. But yeah, that's just another talent. Another talent. A, a good old multifaceted man. Yeah. All right, let's get Dave's wrestling chat in here. I already talked about wrestling. We got a little bit more. So these are his he's uh, sweet Brit Breakers <laughs> accomplishments under the rug. He doesn't care about women's wrestling. You always be saying names, but <laughs> <laughs> I see. The what do we got? And what do we got here? What's going on? Well, what are we working me, with? Let me adjust my eyes, because that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. I believe you might be at least sort of familiar with him. Yeah. You fucking noob. Yeah, I know. The and then fuck. that's Jerry the King Lawler, Memphis legend <laughs> and rock commentator. Brett the Hitman Hart, the best there is, the best there ever was, the best there ever will be. Yeah. And. Cassius Clay? Is that what that says? It's a little blurry. I can't read it. Where? Muhammad this? Ali. That's his real name. Oh. Watch his sport. What? Is he we'll, a... We'll get you started with lacrosse or Dude, something. Muhammad Ali is my least favorite wrestler of all time. <laughs> all right. But yeah, these are... Uh, so he's into wrestling, apparently. He, and uh, I think in one of the bios, he said something about wrestling or growing up as a wrestler. Something like that. I don't know. But yeah. So he yep. could wrestle <laughs> Martin Shkreli with you. How... Yeah. Did this indie Jamma Jones even take that photo? Yeah, what the fuck? Where yeah. are they even at? I just need yeah, I'm not familiar with indie Jamma Jones. Is I'm that a roller skater? Assuming Jenny Janetti is these are roller skates. related to Marty Janetti. Yeah. These are that's what I'm skates. saying. How the fuck do you even take that picture? Yeah, the, maybe that's a half pipe. But even then, uh, I don't know. That's uh, wild. Uh, but yeah, so I think... Uh, not only can Redbeard use his mage magic to stop, you know, a criminal or a beast that attacks or him. Or to stop thirst. Yes, thank you again. I'm like, <laughs> a little bit of this potion that's making me feel funny. Uh, <laughs> but I think he could hand-to-hand combat some shit in the woods and wrestle some shit. Because he could just cast, like, a strength spell on himself and just... Do we have him. some footy of him in combat? No, there's no combat of... Uh, him, unfortunately, I don't think that exists. Dude, I wish. I've been riding the high double or nothing was last night. I watched it, <laughs> paid more? for it, stole it. You need some of every night. That sounds like an addiction. <laughs> well, right. let's see, because there's raw on Mondays. We gotta watch Tuesdays. Yeah, right. Wednesdays. There's Dynamite <laughs> and NXT. This is too long. Thursday is WWE Superstars. Friday is SmackDown. Saturday is. AEW pay per view. Sunday is WWE pay per views. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Ruining it. Day. You're talking right <laughs> over him, bro. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to me on this show. Coat. He crosses pink moats on a little pink boat. He rides by pink moats on a little. So this is the first uh, glimpse of him. Uh, red beard. So he's doing some magic. What's a stunt night? I think maybe um, someone he's from else. Staunton, right? Oh, yeah, he did say something about that. Location. Yeah, Seems that's like, like where his wizard guy's from. Yeah, he's from Gypsy Hill. That must just be the park. With little, uh, with little I think they changed that. So, see, that's a whole fit combined from all the other yeah, ones we got. The Gryffindor scarf over the shoulder. With the lull face. The trilby with the flower. Yeah, this is a lot I'm going on. A hat on a hat, bro. Literally. He is a savage. Like... I respect But you're that. talking about it. It's catching your attention. You're like, who's this son of a bitch? No, dude. Literally, hats. like, hat on a hat is a term for you're doing too much. 
Yeah, maybe that's maybe it's meta. No, he's too much. Some of my magic powers. This two uh, wearing two hats is too much. Sorry, I like him. I promise. The rest you, of the hats. How is the hats? Look at this. They, they, how are the hats yeah. the craziest thing here? It's a hat on a hat, bro. Look at this, though. That's Every, crazy. Everything here. else is too much purposely. Though. It's not bad, but it's just with fucking nuts. But it's but a no, literal I, hat on a hat is what's bothering me. I'm gonna see what this man has to say though. If he comes up wearing two hats and this, I'm gonna be like, all right, let's just see. What the hell is going on? No, the only reason you would wear multiple hats is if you have some baseball hats and you want to spread a couple around so they make a cowboy hat. Okay, so the you and your baseball boyfriends are doing that, but he can't wear They're a hat on a hat. Teammates. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Like you, you're watching your do thumb magic. and fucking picking your thumb and making Ouija boards with blood and touching fingers of your buddies is any better. Get yeah, out of here, degenerate. That's a little bit better. It's cooler. It's arguably cooler. Yeah, touching tips than wearing tips. Wearing, wearing touching. Ain't nothing wrong with touching. They don't tips. even let wrestlers both bleed in matches anymore. We Get back to the show. You're distracting the people. You did this. A lot of a lot of magicians like to use cards. I can't and cards you've are great because this. they're simple. Everybody everybody kind of has a deck at home. But um, a lot of people think that magicians are always using trick cards or a stack deck or some kind of special thing. So one of my favorite kinds of magic is where you just take something really simple, something even simpler than a Let's deck see. of cards. A lot of magicians talk about exploiting soft these kids. spots in certain He's objects. He's got a scar that's shirt. Kind of, that's really kind of a misrepresentation a of, of how reality <laughs> works and how perception affects reality. Really what most magic This dude's high as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, the guy reality. on the left's like kind of excited. The guy on the right's just way too high. Yeah, look at his eyes. Watch. <laughs> uh, this might be one of the least PC things I'll say in the show, but uh, oh, stoners and off. black people love magic. Yeah, but... And that's not even like a thing that I've noticed originally. No, if you watch, they stoners and black dudes run the fuck away when they magic. Go nuts they they for the scream, shit, bro. They scream to like they're like wah, and they fucking take <laughs> off. Cause yeah, if it's like street magic like this, like David Blaine, Chris Angel, and shit, like they go, they like run away. <laughs> it affects reality. Yeah, I don't know. Something about white people. They're fake. They try to play to the stuff. camera. They're just not it's, real. It's soft spots are gaps in in your perception. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna place these two. Kind of behind each other, go. so that they interlock. Take these rubber bands, for instance. You can see the. This video is from 2014. It's a little. I've got them. Uh, I've just got them completely linked. You can see the one really is behind the other one. If I pull <laughs> this way, if I pull this way, if I pull this way, it does not matter. It's connected. I'm gonna show they can't be pulled apart this way. Won't pull apart that way. I might be able to exploit a soft, soft spot in your perception. When you look at them this way and I move them, it's a little hard to tell which one is in front and which one is in back. And it almost, there's a moment in your perception where it just looks like I could. <laughs> your perception. One yeah, that's not too crazy, but. Bro, he's making the soft spot in my, the soft spot in my skull hurt. You don't believe me. But, it's crazy uh, when it's just like actual. Is the gap in your perception? Is this your oh wait, let's snap my fingers. He picks a card. Pull his card to the top of the deck, and just with a snap of my fingers, it's done. You don't believe me, but uh, because of the gap in your perception, what? is this your card? Pass this guy. I could see he was just dealing himself a hand of the same three cards over and over and over again. I thought, hmm, that seems a little strange. So I stopped to ask him what he's doing. He says, oh yes, I'm playing my favorite game. I'll show you how it works. He says, I've got, uh, I've got one Joker. Joker, good movie. I've got another Joker. It's all right. It's all right. I've got an ace, right? Not my favorite says, Joaquin now, vehicle. Pretty simple. All you have to do is follow the ace. So that's on. easy. You just put the ace on bottom. He says, "Oh, wrong. There's a Joker on bottom." I said, okay, "Pink well, Crocs or Samurai shoes?" Way to lay, lay this on one's top. pink. Crocs. No, I'm saying, what do you like better? Oh, the Samurai. One more guess. And I said, "One more guess." Got a, uh, an ace in the middle. He says, oh, wrong "My mom's got pink Crocs." I think I like the pink Crocs. And I said, "Well, hang on a second. You said you were only using two Jokers, and now I can see you're using three. He says, "Oh no, there's an ace on the bottom." And I was like, "Well, but you just said that there was a Joker on the bottom." He says, "Yes. Well, I also said there was a Joker on the top. But look, there's an ace." And I said, well, but you said you only had so one. He's like making cards like spawn here. Three. three, there's an ace in the middle. I said, really? <laughs> well, you're only supposed to have one ace, and now I can see you don't have any jokers. He says, wrong again. I've got one. I've got two. I've got three jokers. <laughs> At this point, I'm getting a little frustrated. So, said, well, this dude's got a bunny on his shoulder. Dude, just kicking it, too. Watching dude, the trick. So, one time I was at a head shop. And god damn it, I'm, I have so many good tangents this episode, apparently. Yeah. But this girl in front of me, literally, I just like saw something like move in her shoulder. I figured she had like a weird twitch or a growth that I was going to ask about. Okay. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> okay. like she gets up next to me in line and she is the clerk and the clerk goes, what the hell? And she's like, oh yeah, it's hanging with me everywhere. And she has a little fucking mouse and she's just like got in her jacket oh, like a god. bright white like rat or mouse or whatever it was. That's way too well trained.
Right. It was like in her jacket, just like going around. And she like was not flinching or like wiggling or anything, bro. Just this mouse. Just, she was insane. cute, too. But yeah, this crew that he just did that to, we got a bunny. This is odd. <laughs> and we got a, <laughs> a show me your tits shirt. <laughs> we got a bunny. It's kind of the era, I guess. Of it that, was right. But we got a show me. It's kind of some David Blaine magic, huh? Some show me your tits tank. I don't think. I think Chris Angel did more live sexual, weird. You're about to have your shirt live. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Chris Angel's not canceled, bro. Chris Angel might have done something bad. He's not wearing show me your tits tank tops. He's not. That would be funny. Maybe that would be a. He funny... might wear like a mesh tank top that's got "Show Me Your Tits" sewn into it. I might piss my pants laughing if I saw Chris Angel wearing that <laughs> doing magic. I would pay so much money for Chris Angel to put that tank top on and just go do real good magic. Like, but yeah. So we got just this crew is excellent that he's oh, rocking these right. tricks well, out this for. Is obviously, a really lame <laughs> game. You're, I think you're just messing with me here. I don't see it's right. a different color, and I'm going to uh, rubber um, bands. A bit fast and easy I don't know if he does anything. I think he just rocks these out in this one. Go ahead and uh, so we got read it. off the prediction and then flip the cards over. What, what does the prediction card say? It says two clubs. He means spades. <laughs> right, Dude, he's so fucking high. Oh my god. Stop. Hey. Check it out. They got it. Check it They got it. They got it. With, uh, with the rest of the deck. All right. So yeah, we it's we got he makes. I mean, he's fucking good. He makes magic. He can do. My oh favorite my part about things like this, they all start with this song. <laughs> my favorite thing about this is that someone's working that camera, like someone's along for the ride. It's probably his wife, his yes. human wife. It just always interests me that when people have someone along for the ride because not that like I'm and like good. you never this see them good but it's definitely out there an alternative and someone else money. has to believe in that yeah vision. It looks like this and that's not always about. easy to find yes uh, here he looks like he is money uh, monies, i guess he could be playing i never poker. understood this system too well uh wizards mostly Dude, you could rock that all pink with kimono things like the 10 monies and should the 20 monies should i get i should get like a silk one pink kimono bro and the pink just, and, and the that is a good one <laughs> and the pink samurai shoes and they change over I could, I could probably, I could probably, well, all right here's the main big thing so this is how i found him originally this is a tiktok that he posted he and his biggest following is on tiktok he's got 33k on TikTok and everything else he has like 500 or less which is the wild part because this is in those ways the smallest following of anybody we've covered but also with that 33k it's been he's been he's been crawling right up there but uh yeah this was October 26th that this was posted and uh this is why this and a few other TikToks that he posted are why people are just kind of you know, confused. It does something else interesting. It turns inside out. Because sometimes it helps to be able to think outside the box, right? Now, some of the ideas in my head are so large that they don't fit either outside the box or inside the box. And uh, some of the things in my heart are so near and dear to me and fill my heart up so much that I have to let them out of the box. You know what I hand next to What? Um, can you hold that? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> so this is his girlfriend and uh, partner. Um, can you help us? She's hands the camera to someone. This is a random person. So she's definitely behind the camera. Yes, but this is a different girl than we saw in that other video. Oh. And this is why everybody is very confused. So he talks about it a little bit here, and this was this happened, and nobody really like knew he was married. But then he dropped this video on TikTok, and this is what I saw on a few meme pages, at least two or three now, just out of context. So I was like, I need to figure out what happens here. <laughs> hey there, internet. Oh boy, I have here in my hand supposedly the last little set of papers that I will have to sign in order to make my divorce happen, so we're gonna go do that now. I don't think I can get pictures and video in the bank where I'm having it notarized, but update soon. <laughs> Ooh, is that worse than divorce selfie? What, divorce 
thing. You, no, you know the meme, like divorce selfie. Oh right. Well, this is a few months after that proposal, or not? Maybe not a few months, but a time after that proposal on October twenty sixth. You would say it's been a while. It's been it's between been a, that video yeah, and it's been this a while. Video. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this this came out. And then this just started circulating because it's kind of like, you know, what the hell? Like, it's just, it, yeah, it's a divorce, like, TikTok right beforehand. Uh, divorce TikTok has a powerful energy emanating from it. And it, this can't be the first one by any No. <laughs> you, no, there's so many good divorce TikToks. Holy shit. I knew we there's should... divorce people making TikToks. Dude, sure. There's but, one <laughs> but... beautiful one. And, uh,. A beautiful I, one. I guess we just won't do an episode on divorce TikToks. I'm sure there's been enough done. But there's Probably. one. He's like throwing his ring against his phone or the camera. He just like throws his ring. It's like dramatic. He's got music playing behind it that we definitely can't play on the show. But oh my God. It's fucking. Divorce TikTok is beautiful. Just yeah. search divorce on TikTok. You yeah. will, you're golden. It'll probably be a lot of divorced people too. But yeah, he's heading to the bank in this outfit. He's about to roll up in the whole pink to get the divorce notarized, which is the to me the wild part. Like they, I, if I worked in a bank and someone did that, I almost think it was a joke at first. Is that where notaries are? Is it the bank? You can't. I mean, yeah, and the it's, courthouse. It's the most convenient place. But I anyone just never knew. I was just like, oh, you have to go to a notary, but I've never seen a notary building. Yeah, no, a lot of <laughs> notaries like in. Yeah. <laughs> Because, like, we could get our notary. Right. Like, yeah. I know what a notary is and like, how it functions and everything. I was just, like, I assumed yeah, they maybe had an yeah, office probably, like, by themselves. Lawyers and shit. And, yeah. Maybe, like. I assume there was, like, a public one at, like, maybe, like a post office. Well, and something. you can, like. Receive it, maybe. You just have to get certified, like. Jump. Hey, we could be notaries. Yeah. yeah There's that whole episode of the league where Taco just becomes a notary. It's harder than getting ordained. stamping everything into legality. It's harder than getting ordained. Because, well, like, yeah. I have looked into that. Chris. Has been on the pod. He's ordained. He actually married someone else that we know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. I so, planned that wedding. Well, I was the wedding planner. I we planned. I had a headset. We, should, we planned a lot of stuff for that wedding. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go on. <laughs> so next, uh, we have right after they get it notarized. And I also saw this on a few meme pages too, which is why I was like, I gotta look into this, what's going on here. So this is divorce and official. just like that, my yes. lovely witness and I have gotten this thing signed and uh, getting ready to drop it off in the mail. So hopefully very, very soon I will be a divorced man. And then probably fairly shortly after that, I will be a recently remarried man. <laughs> Dude, that outfit for the bank is amazing. I, it's the dedication, though. That's fucking insane. He just like lives. He's in. a wizard. <laughs> that's insane. Like that's so he's... much dedication. <sighs> Never mind. So he's no longer married now, as of as of this. To anyone? No, because I guess this is the in between. He's not married to her yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you meant now. He's not married. No. I... Well, to the original. Girl, they probably haven't. Right. This is pretty recent, though. They probably haven't got married yet. Yeah, especially with Corona. Right? Yeah, that's why he said I'm going to be a. S Listen, I no, I, I understood now. I yeah. just misunderstood what you said. I need okay. the dates on these because this isn't during Corona. This is before Corona. But yeah, it probably did get delayed. The um, virus messing with our dates. <laughs> messing with Redbeard getting married. What the fuck, man? Um, but yeah, so I don't want to go into the girlfriend too much, but they do have plenty of TikToks together, so it's not exactly like doxing. Yeah, I'm uh, not high on girlfriends of redheads we cover, but yeah, they make a they make a lot of <laughs> they make a lot of TikToks. Hooey, I must be. But, okay, let me give context to this one. So this he is now addressing people freaking out about this little those three little slew of TikToks, those three that I just dropped. People, right? It, he did drop kind of a bomb on people. Yeah, so but, he. But he dropped this proposal one, and like I said, no one really like knew he was married on TikTok, because you kind of only know he's married if you're on his YouTube, and no one's doing deep dives. And he's on... biggest on TikTok. Yes, by far. Yeah, no one's doing deep dives on random people like you, anyone like can me. do numbers on TikTok right now. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, honestly, right now too. Uh, but no, he's doing good for TikTok. Thirty-three k for a magician, like on TikTok. Like most people aren't on TikTok for that. They're on it for it to be like Vine and be like yeah, music. I, I almost think Vine was probably more magic friendly, like yeah. the way it was set up. Well, like, yeah, and Vine, but I mean, I guess the Vine magic was deliberate jump cuts to mm -hmm, fuck with shit. Right, it yeah, was almost not, exclusively what the magic was. Yeah, but like doing, you know, like legitimate tricks and shit 
on TikTok probably doesn't yeah do as good as like a girl dancing. Unfortunately, that's just the world we live in. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not gonna do um, you know much more of his TikToks. I just want to do this one, which is him addressing uh, these three together. Hooey! I must be brewing up some of the sweetest tea this side of the Mason Dixon line, because y'all are <laughs> real keenly interested in my personal life. That last post I made doesn't even qualify as a shit post, really. It was literally just like an announcement update blurb about some personal drama I have going on because I'm getting divorced after being separated for three years. And so that part made me think, okay, much differently of this. I thought he was like currently married to a woman and just like <laughs> proposed to another woman like right off. But no, they've been separated for three years. No context to that, but I don't really, you know, need to know the nitty gritty yeah. of it. But this, he just did come out and explain. And he did a couple live streams recently that I, I don't know if you can live stream on TikTok. It seems like you can maybe, but it doesn't archive them anywhere. I'm pretty sure you can go live on TikTok. But yeah, it doesn't archive okay. them. So I don't have I'm not on TikTok. I'm judging that completely based off of videos of Cody Ko talking about people on TikTok. Okay, doing like that. Yeah. I think I remember seeing segments. It makes of. sense because like it would be dumb for them not to compete with, you know. I guess Snapchat's the only thing you can't go live. I can go. You can't go live on Twitter. That would be bad. I uh, know. I that would be you bad. Can go live on Twitter. You can live stream like a video on Twitter. Uh, yeah, that would be, dude. I'm sure this we'll, bad we'll shit. Check. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I know Periscope used to be at least like linked to, uh, to Twitter. Okay. Yeah, I always forget about that. That didn't. Really... But like Twitter directly standalone, I don't think so. Okay. You got to do something through Periscope. Right, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, but yeah. That video <laughs> has brought me. Let's see. Oh. Over 125,000 views, over a thousand new fans, and I don't know how many likes and comments and shit. Like it went, it went far, y'all. So yeah, now I'm sitting at 33k, and that's a milestone. So I, uh, as is my tradition, I will be going live sometime within the Wish next I had 24 this. hours, probably tonight, maybe a little later <laughs> in the evening. Like I'm thinking after nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So keep an eye on the channel. Thank you all so much for yes, being here see. and for you know checking in, checking in on me. I guess y'all stay safe out there. Social distancing, red beard out. So yeah, this was the most recent one. He's done a couple other. Right, it was has to be during. Yes, definitely. Yeah, this is probably like late April, or like early March or early May. Jesus, um, but yeah, he seems happier now. It seemed like there was some sort of issue if they're separated for well, three years, but just no one has. A, the people are just putting those yeah, two. Yeah, I've never been divorced, so. Yeah. I don't hope and I don't think plan on being again. separated and not divorced seems like such a limbo. I'm sure he is. Right. So relieved. So yeah, that seems bogus as hell, bro. You gotta wear some dumbass looking plain jewelry, and you ain't getting no sex. He ain't dressing no plain jewelry. But you gotta wear just you gotta wear that specific jewelry. Dude, I bet they're wearing something wild. You can wear whatever you want. You think? You don't? Yeah, you can do. They might be getting some people don't even church. wear rings. I didn't see any cool like elaborate rings. Yeah, but if you, yeah, I don't think. Red beard. I'm what you say, bro? What you guys married, married yeah. but separated? But sucks. These rings. <laughs> we need to see these. Good, I bet they get some magic glass it's rings. It's gotta be cool. It's gotta be cool. Yeah. Let's see these rings, guys. You'd think they'd get in the way of certain tricks, but I guess if they have the right stats on them, it might help, right? Yeah, or if you got one of those like magic thumbs, up, you got one of those thumbs that you like. Not that I would ever expose how to do a trick, but yeah. you got one of those fake thumbs. You like pull all the. Uh, hankies out of Dude. you just have like a ring around with ass. But... What the? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's how they do that. No, it's probably not. There's probably more than one way. Yeah, bro. That's probably the beginner way. Hey, Ian, what's that ways. behind your ear? Real magic. I would shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would shit if you pulled out some shit. Um, but yeah, so those other. I just thought. I needed to give some context because I was like, what in the fuck? Why is this dude going to a bank to get divorced in this outfit? Because that was all I was given. It's just like the man in a pink top hat with like, yeah. It was just, oh, internet. God damn it. Oh, boy. <laughs> just I this. Oh, boy. In my oh, boy. See, he's happy. No one's a... Oh, boy. <laughs> it's like really <laughs> sound clip that? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, so he seems happier. And yeah, hopefully, you know, he doesn't get upset if he sees this for me going this far into it. But if people see this, they'll have context. To They'll it. be mad at me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
But yeah. I like you, Redbeard. I would play D&D with Redbeard. I think he'd be fun. Do I think he'd be a cool-ass cat to have around? You think he'd let me blast as much as I do, or you think he'd get sick of it? Because, you know, I just be Eldritch blasting. If it works, it works. It... But is it good? That you it's... can have a couple. You can have two wizards, It's right? not like you're... Oh, you would... Is he playing a wizard in D&D, or do you think he'd be sick of it? I think he is. Like point. You think yeah, he'd maybe. go human warrior just to feel normal? All right, Redbeard, what are your wedding rings look like? And what are you playing D and D? That's the the what the questions we've walked yeah. away from this episode. Show me your hands and your <laughs> character sheet. Let me see them hands. Let me see them dice. <laughs> oh goddamn! But yeah, that's Redbeard. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. But yeah, one day he'll play our festival. Beautiful. He'll do some wandering to like a trillion here. people, hopefully. Yeah, one tr <laughs> Wait, can I Chilling pose one question before we yeah, powder we out? Yeah. All right. This is our second wrestler we've talked about. Is this a wrestler? Oh, do you think he could go yeah. after Superman? We didn't really human? go into his wrestling so much, his being a wrestler. Cause he could talk to us. We, it's, there's not right. much about it. Yeah. But I just want to ask. One-on-one. -on -one, what? Superhuman. Versus him? Red Redbeard Beard the Pink. I think Superhuman definitely has a higher pain tolerance unless he has spells for that. Ooh. I'd say Redbeard wins <laughs> 900 days out of 901 days. Wow. I don't think so. I think Superhuman, I think he says, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. And he hits TikTok boy what with the Stone Cold Steve Austin <laughs> style microwave jump onto a spike cactus on a Joey Janela chat driver. I don't know, Redbeard, you're all right, but I think Superhuman hits you with the three count. We haven't taught. We haven't seen his wrestling. Show us your rings. Show us your character sheets. Show us your moves. I want to see your rings, <laughs> and I want to see it in the ring. Show me your moves. There we go. Because until then. It's square. It's superhuman time, baby. And I want to see your Lord of the Rings character. There we go. We got them all. We yeah. Fit them all in there. So that's why at the It's Been a Wild Fest, I'm challenging the fight. And I know what we talked about being we talked about being partners earlier, but sometimes partners don't get along, and that's why it's me, me and Superhuman versus Pink whatever, and his and good friend Paul. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Spicy. We'll see you there. All right, All we'll right. see you there. Bye-bye. <laughs> Redbeard the pink wears a little pink coat. He crosses pink moats on a little pink boat. He rides by pink oats on a little pink goat and strokes his big red beard.